make YouTube great again. That's a hashtag that's been going around along with where's the fair use. Where's the fair use is a question worth asking to the right people. And make YouTube great again is something worth investing in to ensure that this website that's a community driven website, mind you, at its very base core is all about just basic everyday average people who are uploading hundreds and thousands of hours of content every single day covering anything and everything that you can imagine from education to entertainment to just spreading messages around like this make youtube great again one of the easiest ways that we could go about that is by opening up a direct line of communication between content creators and the powers that be at google who run youtube See, this video right here, this was created and spurred because of all the shit that had happened because of Team Four Stars channel getting shut down, unjustifiably. You see, their channel got shut down the very next day. It was put back up, all because their network came forward because they had that open line of communication. They had an avenue that they could go and discuss this with the right people and get everything taken care of. But think about how often this has been happening lately. Just this year alone, this seems to, not only was this in a decline, but now it's in a steep decline. So problematic that channels, both big and small, are getting hit with this. A problem that has been persisting over and over again and is now out of control. YouTube, I already know for a fact from personal friends of mine, the right people at YouTube are paying attention to everything that we say and everything that we do, yet are doing nothing about this. And I understand that it might be an arduous task to have to go and keep tabs on every single channel, on every single video that could get flagged, every single channel that could get a strike, every single video that could get claimed. This is something that's a huge investment and a huge undertaking, but that's the name of the game when you're running a business this large. We're talking about a corporation that is one of the biggest within the entire world that has a lot more influence than most people don't really think about. And now they're in this rock and a hard place type situation where you have a lot of people from Hollywood and the music industry and the television industry and all sorts of other shit who are now trying to go and crack down and hammer down on all of the small guys. Now, when this happens, Google being the middleman, and them running YouTube and owning this platform, they have to go and debate and argue over who's right and who's wrong. What is technically fair use? What is a technical copyright infringement? What is right and what is wrong? And it seems to be a case by case scenario. They just throw the rule book right out the fucking window and nobody understands what's right or what's wrong. I've been on YouTube since before Google owned it. I've been using YouTube for a long ass time. You figure we're talking about a website that is now 10 years old and going strong. But with things like this, this is how you go and take it out at the knees and somebody else will have to go and rise up and offer the same exact similar platform so that this kind of shit doesn't occur again. It's, it, th this is ridiculous. You know, when Doug Walker was talking about it, I was happy to see that a large channel, somebody who's well known that has been around the block, that has dealt with this time and again, was speaking up on the matter. It's worse whenever there's smaller channels, they kind of just grin and bear it. And they just accept it as is because they don't want to go and rock the boat too much. And a lot of people don't think about that. Oh, I, I don't want to go and piss them off. They can just shut down my channel. Oh, I already got the strikes. Oh, well, what will I do? They don't have a network. They don't have anybody that they can go to. They don't know anybody. There, there's nothing that they can fucking do. You know, and even if you have a network, that doesn't mean that the network's going to do shit for you. You know, it's this is literally a case by case scenario. And Team Four Star, I've been following for years. Dragon Ball Z a bridge, Helsing a bridge, Final Fantasy Seven a bridge. I've been watching all that shit. Been enjoying it for a long ass time. Was it right for them to go and get tagged with not one, two, or three, but four fucking strikes? No. That's ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. When I got to hear about it on social media, I decided that I would go and toss out my few cents. That I'd go and spread the word even more. And I thought that in video form, I could go and do that again. Because here's the thing. This shouldn't be one of those just five seconds we go and talk about and then we're done with it. 
because then the, the problem, it continues. It snowballs, it gets out of control, and a lot of people won't discuss this matter because they don't want their channel being compromised. They're too fucking scared to go and say something, and that's the fucking truth. Sackless and fucking ballless. I'm sorry, but if you're a fucking content creator, if you're somebody who respects the craft, if you're somebody who views YouTube so much, and you actually, honest to goodness, like all that stuff that's out there, everybody should be saying something. It should be out there so this continues to be a thorn in their side and they have to address it. They have to do something about it. And, and let me make this perfectly clear. That if Google, if they come forward and they say, okay, here's how YouTube is going to run. We're actually going to cave into the demands of all of the much more influential people because there's much more money over here. Then you are asking for all the nails to be put into the coffin lickety split just like that well people want to go up and leave to somewhere else fuck no it took me years to even build what the hell i have and it's still not much but would i want to have to go and leave no but if there's greener pastures i'll fucking go that's all there is to it because numbers don't mean shit if you're unhappy if you're seeing injustices left and right then what the fuck is the point anymore it means that it's not what it used to be it's not why you initially showed up so why fucking continue now i want to assume that they don't want everything to go in hell to hell in a handbasket i want to assume that it makes a lot of sense. I don't think that the people at Google are fucking evil. I don't think the people that run YouTube are fucking evil. I understand that they have a system in place that is automated that fucks up a lot. And it is brought to the attention of everybody and them. And it's not being fixed. It is not being looked over by people who can just check it out and say, no, well, that doesn't make any sense for that to happen and right the wrong. I want to assume that they have to be looking at this and be like, we have to go and fix this because shit's getting bad. I want to come out and say something. YouTube already has their own channel. They have their own social media outlets. Just come forward and say something. You know, you need to make it easier for people to talk to somebody, to communicate directly to you. That is how you would get to the actual core of the problems. And be like, oh, okay, we can go and fix this and we can't fix this. Well, technically, this is overstepping said boundaries. If you go and look in these rules, and somebody needs to fucking know. Somebody needs to be there to talk to. Everybody feels like they're just lost in the dark trying to feel their way around. Even the biggest of channels with, I'm talking millions of subscribers, still don't know what the fuck to do. Let alone a channel that just got started has like 12 subscribers and they're just trying to go and get their feet wet and get their shit out there and then this is happening? Hammer down right on them over and over again and then kills their ambition altogether. You could have had the next big thing, one of the next big artists, one of the next big creator. You could have had that, but your system fucked it over. You could have somebody that's a, an aspiring success story fucked over. You you can have somebody who already is a success story and it is just stopped dead in the tracks because of shit like this. It doesn't make sense to go and throw away all this fucking potential and especially with the website that people have used, that have loved, that have needed, that have had in their lives for such a long time. Do you want to just go and throw it all away? It would make no sense. From a business standpoint, it makes no sense. And, and let me make something again, perfectly fucking clear, is that even if they did decide, well, we're gonna go where the money is, guess what? The money isn't really there if the consumer isn't. And if you fuck over the consumer, then there's nothing there keeping it afloat and it fucking sinks. But they already know that because they're not stupid. So it's just a matter of when. But how many other people are going to suffer at the hands of all this bullshit? Genuinely, if you hear about big or small channels, throw the word out. Get it around so that somebody can do something about it, so that everybody knows about it. It doesn't matter if it's even a fucking channel you don't give a shit about. You should say something, because just imagine if it was happening to you. What if it was happening to somebody that you like, that you respect, that you watch, that you enjoy, that you're subscribed to? What then? Team Four Star is just one of many that it happened to. And they didn't deserve to have that shit happen to them. Bunch of fucking talented ass people going and making things that are fucking hilarious. And they're within their legal rights. 
But then this happens. What the fuck? You know? And you might be thinking, oh, uh, people are only making a big deal about the big channels. No. This is for everybody. Say something. Make YouTube great again? This would be one of the easiest ways to open up lines of communication between the content creators and everybody that actually works for Google and for YouTube. That's just the beginning of it. Hopefully we see some kind of change because if not, this is just going to continue to be a problem until something breaks and something gives. Anyway, this is Alpha Omega Sin as always, Nurse Nerdettes and Gamers Game. The fuck off.